<laughs> All right, take us to the main menu. All right. Do I wear the Do I wear the glasses? Uh. All right, we're back with episode two. My glasses are on very weirdly. Um, yeah. Basically. We're gonna just continue from where we left off in Violet C and hope our textures are okay. Hey hey, let's go. Um what you will notice as well is that um I changed the layout so I didn't have the icons anymore. Um just you know, covering up space and whatnot. So right beneath my web uh, right beneath my webcam is uh is gonna be like Twitch chat and uh follow icons and whatnot. Uh, just so that uh, in case I want to stream, that that can be done. Um, I also have space for my Empoleon. He's not just uh, on the border of the uh, the main game over here. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're back, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna play uh, for a bit, and the 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 voiceover is gonna gonna happen now. You are goddamn right. I am back. Let's fucking do this. Yeah, post recording me. Um, just to tell you, uh, <laughs> this this episode was uh was was pretty decent actually. <laughs> I mean, it did pan out very well for me in the end. You'll see. But anyway, uh, let me start telling you what happened. So uh, first started off outside the Pokemon Center and uh, was feeling generally quite good. I was thinking that maybe we'd have rays of hope come in this episode. You know, instead of the last episode with the Licky Tongue incident and the Dark Rye incident. And, uh, you know, I think just wait and see, really. I travelled to the gym, and uh, a guy stood in the way saying that I should go beat the Sprout Tower to uh, get stronger, which is fair enough, really, so I did. Most of the fights were uninteresting, apart from the fight I had with the guy that had my favourite legendary. Honestly, I, I didn't want to kill it, but had to so that I could progress. During this time, my Weedle evolved into a Kakuna, meaning it got slightly stronger and learned Harden, quite possibly one of the most suggestive sexual innuendos for a move, a bar lick, or any kissing move. After beating all the weak-ass poets, I stumbled upon the boss of them, Clark Pansy, which is very ironic considering that A, he's the boss of the poets and is called Pansy, and B, he doesn't even retain the trainer class to abide by his social role, aka poet. He was a breeze though until he brought out his ace Groudon. Jesus Christ, all these bloody legendaries, man. Christ, why can't I get one? After a toss and a turn, I eventually took out his Groudon because of a misplay on his behalf. I won this fight and picked up a super repel, meaning I could walk away from the tower without encountering a single Pokemon, which is pretty decent considering my shortage of balls. Yeah, one of my friends really liked that phrase, so it makes a part two. After all this malarkey, I used my winning funds to buy seven more Pokeballs and to get another encounter. I ran down to Route 32 and into the grass I went. It's safe to say from here that my luck reached a certain peak. Here's our encounter for this route. Electabuzz. That's very decent encounter indeed. Very decent. Here we go. Yes. Nice. Caught an Electabuzz. That's really good. Yep. Electabuzz now joins the team and is a fantastic addition because of its well needed coverage and overall strength. I called it Lasagna because Lasagna is good. After this, I told myself that I had to grind, and so I did.
got all my Pokemon to at least level 10 in preparation for the first gym. At this point, my Kakuna evolved into a Beedrill, and my Dragonair finally learned Dragon Rage, something that would become a significant asset to the team. After healing, I headed over to the gym to start fighting the trainers. The first guy had a single Pokemon, Shin Chao. I sent out my Beedrill and kept spamming his newly learnt move, Fury Attack, a move that can hit for up to 2-5 to five times with a base power of 15 and has an accuracy of 85%. I then battled the next trainer after healing and he had two Pokemon, first of which was a Masquerain. It had Intimidate, so my attack was lower quite a bit. I tried using Fury Attack, but I got unlucky, and it missed. However, he used Water Sport, so I was perfectly fine. We exchanged blows until I hit a critical Poison Sting. I used Poison Sting once again and poisoned it, but he switched out into his next Pokemon, Matang. It's fair to say I decimated it with Dragon Rage and continued with my next task, finishing off the Masquerade. After the fight, my Dragonair got to level 17, which is a bit of a level for the gym, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. Then the gym leader. This worried me quite a bit, considering that I don't know what his Pokemon are going to be. He whipped out his first Pokemon, Togekiss. I blindly used Astonish, unaware of its BS normal typing, and unaware of a potentially lethal move it had, Aura Sphere. I shit you not, I got so scared here that it would one-shot my Apom. I mean, it should. Both of its defensive stats are garbage and Aura Sphere is a base 80 power move that doesn't check accuracy, meaning it's virtually always going to land. It's also super effective. I watched as my Apom's health whittled down to its final moments. Was this the end of Apom? Our lucky Route 46 encounter? Is this the end of my first caught Pokemon? What do I do now? Psych. My absolute fucking machine that is Apom lived the devastating Aura Sphere on 4 HP. Oh my fucking god. How on god's green earth he lived that, I will never know. <laughs> well, it, it's safe to say from here I dipped. My Apom was not staying in against that thing. So I switched in Dragonair and spammed his entire team with Dragon Rage. I didn't want to do this, Faulkner, but he left me no choice. I got the gym badge and also the TM for Roost, a fairly decent move if anyone could learn it. Faulkner then instructed me that I should start heading to Azalea Town to fight the next gym. I would, but I've got encounters to catch first. When I headed out of the gym, Elm called me and suggested that I pick up the egg that I delivered to him in the first episode. I said sure, why not, and headed to the nearest shop where his assistant was waiting ready to hand me the egg. When I left the shop, a hula lady appeared and commented on the handover of the egg over the course of its existence. She then left, and I ran around with speed up to hatch this egg.
This is the result of my Violet City encounter. Oh. Here we go. Alright. Let's go. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, boys. It's a cow. Specifically, a cow that one girl uses against you and usually in the third gym. Naturally, I named it Milk and checked out its egg moves. It got tackle and extra sensory. A decent f fuck. Uh, start that again. It got tackle and extra sensory. A decent psychic type move early on. I then realized I had only one slot left in my party before I had a full team of Pokemon. So I went to the ruins of Alf to see if I can catch anything decent. And uh, you could say that this encounter changes the game ever so slightly. Just watch. Ruins of Alf, here we go. Here we go, boys. If I can catch this. Ho oh, ho, oh boy. Hell fucking yeah. It was a Blastoise, a very good final evolution starter that was actually an amazing find. Granted, he had some shoddy moves, but with due time, that could be polished and ready for fighting. I was pumped. If I didn't catch this, then I'd be pretty disappointed with myself. And, um... Here's the conclusion to this encounter. I've got him down low enough, I think. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. There's no way we've just caught that. The conclusion wasn't any more perfect. We whittled down the Blastoise down to just about under half its HP with paralysis and caught it with a Pokeball. My reaction says it all, really. With the Blastoise being caught, I was very happy with myself. And I called him Sprite in reference to Sprite Cranberry in the LeBron James meme. I then grinded for several minutes and headed down the route to the next Poke Center beside the Union Cave. And uh, unfortunately, that's where we end for the episode. To conclude, and to sum up the episode, I'm just going to say that's probably the height of my luck, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I could have gotten more lucky with the encounters. So, uh, now to pass over to my pre-self to uh, end the episode. Okay, right, yep. Um, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, do subscribe and like if you want. Uh, it is appreciated. Uh, next episode. It's going to be great. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.